Hi everyone, my name's Matt and I work on the customer success team at Figured. Today we're going to be continuing to look at the planning grid. We're going to look at account configuration, our automatic interest and overdraft, copying actuals to forecast and exporting and importing. So let's jump into the farm and firstly look at our account configuration. So this can be found inside the planning grid under the tools, configure accounts. Or you can also find it under the accounting tab, chart of accounts, and then you'll find a page called account configuration. So what you can do in the account configuration is you can configure the categories of how your chart of accounts are laid out here. So when you first set up your farm with figured and zero, it's going to sync those in. It's going to have a go at uh, automatically assigning your chart of accounts to these different set categories here. Some of these, however, will not get categorized, and that's what the account configuration is for. You can go ahead and add those categories. So if we look at other income, for example, all these accounts here haven't been assigned a category automatically. So we can go ahead and look at that in our account configuration page. So you can see here we've got that account uh, sales dairy heifer calves, and that's got no category assigned currently. We've also got our payment period here, which we can change, and our detail and planning. So by default, the payment period will be 20th of the next month and the detail and planning will be summary. So that's just keying in the information at a monthly summary level. So if we go ahead and change the detail and planning on these accounts, we can have a look at how this changes inside the planning grid. So let's change animal health minerals. And we'll change the detail and planning here from summary to detailed. So hidden would also hide it, but we'll change this one to detailed. And we'll go ahead and refresh that in our planning grid. So you can see we've got animal health minerals here, which is now in detail. So I cannot enter any of the transactions at a summary level, but I can click into this account schedules, which is going to prompt me to enter more information about it. You can enter notes, you can choose the transaction date and the payment date. So by default, with the payment periods, if you're going to enter uh, at a cash level here, and it will automatically go to the 20th of that month, and then a profit transaction will automatically be created for the month prior. It's also worth noting in the account configuration that if you've got uh, another farm that you've already set up, you can copy that into this farm here. So if I click copy farm, I'll then be able to search for the farm and confirm and copy, and that's gonna pull over all the account configuration, whether you have customized the payment periods, the detail and planning, everything over, and it's gonna be matched at an account name level. And finally, if you're categorizing your accounts, it's worth noting that the type of account will allow you to assign different categories. So for this account as an expense type, I'll have these uh, categories I can select from here, but this is gonna be different if it's an asset or a liability. And you won't be able to find any of your tracker mapped accounts in the account configuration page. Those will need to be handled in the trackers themselves. So that sums up the account configuration. Let's head back to the planning grid and check out our interest and overdraft settings. So your interest in overdraft settings can be found also under tools, overdraft settings. And I've got this in the tab here and you'll just have to click enabled and then you'll be able to choose the overdraft rate, the limit and the repayment type, whether that's monthly, bi-monthly, etc. You can also nominate your account and this is going to go towards. So what this will do, is going to calculate your overdraft payments based on the settings you've entered here. And it's going to calculate it on your closing forecast cash position. So in this uh, file here, I've changed to 2023. And let's look at our closing balance here. And you can see it's going into negatives from February. So if I scroll up, you'll see that I've got the interest and overdraft account. And that is calculating that automatically from the months that we are in the A deficit. Now, finally, let's talk about our importing and exporting functions inside the planning grid. So I'll jump back to our 2022 year. And this is also located under the tools bar. So the most common thing to do if you're wanting just to quickly move your last year's actuals into your current year forecast, you can do that through import, select last year's actuals and import that across. So that's just going to import all the actuals that were included in the previous year and move them into this year's current forecast. But in the context of building out your plan years into the future, you might not have a full years of last year's actuals to do this with. So in this example, if I'm wanting to move uh, this mix of actuals and forecasts into 2023, what I can do is I can go and export this full year. So I click tools, export, and I can choose to export a mixture of actuals and forecasts with when I'm choosing my actuals through to cash or profit, and then I can download that file. And what I want to do then is navigate to the 2023 year, click tools, click import, and then I'll choose that file that I've saved locally. Make sure you've got 2023 selected 
and you click adjust imported dates to this year and then choose that file off your computer and then click import. Also, if I want to do uh, some data entry manually uh, locally, there's a download template you can download and then key in the numbers and then re-import it into Figured and that will match your chart of accounts. And lastly, you can also import from a snapshot. So if I select snapshot here, I can choose the snapshot year I want to import and that will import the snapshot for your uh, planning grid. So it's not going to import any of the tracker mapped accounts. Those again will be handled handled in the tracker themselves. So that sums up our video today. Feel free to reach out to us through the green chat bubble if you've ever got any questions and we'll be happy to help.